Hey Pleiadian Mystique, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me for this reading. Um, so this is an energy reading for the energy of Cancer. You don't necessarily have to be the sun sign of Cancer to resonate with this video. It's the energy for a situation that is in the Cancer energy, I guess is what you could say. If you want more information about my energy readings, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and read the description. Um, it has all my insights on why I call it an energy reading. Um, and this is a you versus them scenario, so you can flip the characters in the story to your situation. So use your own discernment. It's a general reading, so not everything might be for you, but there might be something in here that your guides um, would like you to hear. So that's why you've been glad to this video. Now you can also donate to my channel um, in the description. There's a PayPal link, or you can also find my services if you're interested in booking a personal reading at my website, pleiadiumystique.com forward slash shop. Okay, let's get started. Cancer, what is happening in your life? What is your current energy, your current situation? Okay, so we have a Queen of Wands energy here. So very, um, very strong fire energy here, very... Um, fierce, very passionate, very loyal, feminine energies coming through here for you, Cancer. So, yeah, I'm being very drawn to the fire here. So there's a lot of fire and passion right now that's deep within you. That's um, I feel it's igniting to the surface. Um, Cancer's normally a water sign, so it's very interesting to see um, you coming up as the Queen of Wands in your um, fire element. So, um, I feel like there's some sort of, um, situation in your life that has you all fired up and it has all cylinders charged. That's what they're telling me. All, all cylinders are ablaze here. Um, it's very powerful. It's like, um, you've got a wave of power. It's like a, see the look on her face and how fierce she is. She's, um, she's been lit up. I feel like you've been lit up. You're on fire. Maybe um, you've just decided to go after something. I feel like it's more you're you're empowered. You're fierce. You're you, you know exactly what you want. You're going after it, and nothing's gonna stop you. And that's the kind of energy that's coming through here with the Queen of Wands. So definitely a very fierce type feminine energy that knows what she wants, isn't gonna stop at anything until she gets it. And isn't going to let anyone come between her and her dreams. It's like you're, I feel like you're um, staring down any competition, any um, one who wants to challenge you, anyone that wants to come between you and your destiny or your dream or your promotion or your career or, you know, any general situation. It's you staring the face of a challenge down, like, bring it on. I can take it. Whatever you got, throw it at me. I've been through worse than this. It's going to be a piece of cake compared to what I've been through my entire life. So whatever you got at me, bring it. Because I'm going to get through it. I'm going to fight. And I'm strong. I'm a warrior. I've been through hell and back. And I am ready to receive what I deserve. But if you want to throw a curveball at me, go for it. I can take anything right now. That's the kind of energy that's coming through for you, Cancer. It's a very powerful feminine energy, very fierce, very dominant, very um, very brave and noble too is what's coming through. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like you've received a lot of unjust um, circumstances in your life and it's really actually caused you to become very strong, very independent, very fierce, very powerful. And like I was saying before, whatever you want to throw at me, I can handle it. I've been through worse situations. And I feel like the universe has not been kind to you or people haven't been kind to you, your life. And it's made you a very powerful um, individual. Like, it's kind of like, I don't want to fuck with you. I'm getting this like 
I wouldn't want to mess with you, Cancer. Look at your face. I'm just getting... Because I can feel the energy. I'm, I'm like a little bit intimidated, to be honest. It's like very um, powerful. It's almost like a divine feminine energy that's like very strong, very intense, very, um, very protective, very protective. But I feel like you're not at on the attack. You're just on, on the, um, what's the word? It's not like you're on the defensive because nothing's attacked you, but you're just like, you're anticipating an attack. It's an, it's an anticipation of an attack. I feel like something you want is really close and you're anticipating an attack. Like someone's going to try and take it from you. That's the energy that's coming through. Because that's what's been happening your whole life. I feel like every time you get close to achieving something really big in your life, someone tries to take it from you and you've been attacked. This could be a, a relationship that's been attacked as well. Um, but let's find out some more. What, what else have we got for you, Cancer? <laughs> you're going for your dreams and you're not going to let anyone take it from you and you're not going to let anyone stop it. So your dreams are about to come true is what I'm sensing cancer and you're anticipating an attack from the enemy to try and stop this from manifesting in your life. And I'm getting a very fierce, um, no one's going to take away this. This is mine. It's mine for the taking and no one's coming between me and this dream, this destiny. And I feel like this is... Um, know some sort of beautiful love connection that's very powerful and it's like you have a telepathic connection with somebody as well and I feel like you've really grown from this whole experience and you're very very fierce now very powerful you're awakened fully enlightened I feel like you're very enlightened the card this card to me indicates someone who's enlightened they are aware of forces beyond their control that can um, try and influence them and you're anticipating the mind, the attack of the mind to try and control your thoughts so that you can't manifest your dreams. So it's like people have tried to influence you your whole life, tried to attack you, tried to bring you down, tried to tell you you're something that you're not, tried to belittle you, tried to make you feel like you weren't good enough your whole life to go for your dreams and they've been treating you quite unfair, but you've overcome all of these obstacles, all of these challenges, all of these um, opinions, and you've managed to rise against the resistance. That's what I'm getting. There's been a lot of resistance towards your growth, a lot of people trying to hinder your progress, a lot of people with bad intentions, a lot of um, energies that were just trying to prevent you from achieving your dreams but you're just like no nah, this is mine it's it's mine for the taking it's got my name written on it and I'm going for it and nothing can stop me what a beautiful powerful energy that you're in that's really amazing so what is this um in relation to is this love is this career what is it finances is it what exactly are you going after cancer Okay, so this is a project that you're working on, and I feel like it's um, uh, maybe you're an amb ambitious person and you're, you're going after your financial abundance and career aspirations, and I feel like whatever it is that you're trying to achieve I'm I'm get I'm sensing like you're working really hard on your craft right you've got um a really good idea or a project and you're like no no one's going to stop me no one's going to take this away from me I feel like maybe in the past you had um career aspirations or goals and maybe people tried to hinder your progress or they tried to dim your light or they tried to um take things from you that weren't theirs but this I feel like you've mastered a business plan, a business model, or a career opportunity, or um, 
something that's going to bring you the, the, the uh, money that you desire or the income that you desire. And you're like, I'm going for it. I deserve this. I'm going for my dreams. And you're going for it unapolog unapologetically and fiercely. And you are making it, this happen and not going to let anyone stop you or come between you or tell you you can't do it. Um, that's what I'm getting here. And if it's not just career, it could also be a, a love interest. It could also be a connection. Um, but you have to work with more than one person to achieve this goal. So you're working really hard to make this happen in the material world. <laughs> Treasure Island is a beautiful card. It's about... Um, dreams coming true your treasure island is your ultimate happiness so this is a card to me that's about um love it can also be about career it's just you know finding your um tribe and um having it manifest and it's about abundance love see the little love hearts the stars it's um you know it's wish fulfillment so you're working on achieving all of your dreams not just love and not just career, everything, everything in your life, your alignment, loving yourself, mastery. I'm getting mastery. I just saw 11, 11 as I, um, as I, as I said that you are working on self mastery and manifesting your dreams and being an inspiration for others. That's what I'm sensing with this particular project. So let's get another message for you from, um, the universe. Grieve your losses. It came out in reverse. So I feel like in the past there has been um, people that have tried to come between you and this project. And the universe is saying it's time to let those things go that um, came between you and your dreams. Grieve your losses because they're not going to hinder your progress. It came out in reverse. So it's like let go of what happened in the past let um release all of that negativity and focus because it's not going to hinder you this time you can you've you've let it go you've released it you've grieved your losses um and you're really close to achieving your goals so i'm going to get um one more card actually to see what else this is about and what the universe wants you to know moving forward hmm so I feel like um, there has been something that hasn't been expressed um, or something that hasn't been offered to you. The Page of Cups is sometimes an offer of love. It's an offer of um, expression of emotion. So I feel like maybe, um, maybe there was disappointments for you in the past, Cancer, and the universe is saying... Grieve your losses, let that go, don't let this hinder your progress or make you feel um, any less worthy of achieving your dreams. Um, just because something hasn't been expressed to you doesn't mean you can't have everything you want and maybe you did have your eyes on something or someone that um, hasn't come forward and you know is not expressing themselves. So um, I'll just see if I can get one more card in relation to this and find out what it's all about. It could be um, someone that you were going to go in business with. It could be romantic, but we'll see. Mm. Okay, so I feel like um, this is a bit of anxiety and a little bit of negative um, thinking, a little bit of negative thought patterns. And I feel like this is the universe coming through for you saying this is um, an illusion. This is a fear. This isn't because um, these cards are in reverse. Um, I think this is you thinking the worst here. So the universe is uh, acknowledging how hard you've worked, what you've achieved, how good you're doing, you know, how focused you are. But then I'm, I'm sensing that there's these negative thought patterns that come back and they creep back in. And I'm getting that these are illusions. The universe is like, just stay focused. You're so close to achieving your goal. Um, prosperity lies ahead. You just need to meditate and release this type of energy and this is an 11 we all know what the 11 is it's about unity harmony um you know the stars are aligning for you because we've got a lot of stars here that's what i'm getting 
a lot of stars here. You might be single right now because this is a nine, but you're very close to achieving your goal. But because because emotions haven't been expressed in a situation, you feel like it may not happen for you, but that is just fear and illusion creeping back in and that needs to be healed. Um, stay focused. Be this fierce queen. Go for your dreams. I'm going to get one more card from the universe just because I feel guided to grab one. Because I don't like ending a reading on like negativity. I don't know. I just feel like there's another message that we need to yeah <laughs> see focus on success so it's like what you put your attention on is what will manifest so let all this go don't focus on that that's an illusion that's fear let that go focus on success reprogram those negative thoughts get out of that anxiety release this um release this because it, it's not serving you Focus on success and you're very close to achieving your goal. So I'm going to take this over to the extended to find out what um, the universe has planned for you, what this project might be, um, you know, what you can do to remain focused and what you can do to help your anxiety and be more mindful because I'm sensing there's, um, you know, some illusions and fears that need to be purged and I want to find out a little bit more from the universe of exactly the guidance and advice here for your cancer. So it's really positive reading for you. You're going after your dreams. You're focusing on your successes. You're working on a project. Something's manifesting. Um, and the universe wants you to stay focused so it manifests. So I feel like you've worked really hard and they just don't want those fears creeping back in because that would be unfair on you after everything you've been through and how hard you've worked. So stay focused, go for your dreams and um, work. continue to work really hard on this project. project. And I, I feel like prosperity is just around the corner. But um, if you want to find out a little bit more advice, the link to my extended reading is um, in the description uh, over to my Vimeo page. Thanks for joining me and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.